Today I'm going to be working on my kitchen. I have an idea. 22 inches. I prefer my candy frozen. <laughs> I feel like I can get away with it in a bus. This is going to be a lot less of a like getting stuff done video than the past few have been. This is going to be more of like making a plan and preparing to get stuff done later. So here's my kitchen. It's going to be from here to here. And I want to try to fit all of my main like kitchen appliances in this space. Over here on the other side, I'm also going to have like a desk which can double as extra counter space for the kitchen, but I want this to be more like of an office area and keep all the main kitchen stuff on this side. So that means that I have about five and a half feet to fit my fridge, sink, oven, stove thingy. Hopefully have a little bit of counter space left. I think that's about it. I'm gonna start by deciding where I want all of my appliances to be and then go from there. I do have one of my kitchen appliances already. This company called Set Power was nice enough to send me this fridge. It's the one thing I already have and it's probably the most important kitchen appliance I'm going to have. So I'm going to kind of design my kitchen layout around this a little bit. So I don't remember if I have talked about my fridge on here before because when I first started the build and started planning my kitchen, I was just planning to use a regular mini fridge and this was before I had done any of my electricity and it was before I understood even a little bit the difference between um, 12 volt power and 110 volt? Is it 110 volt or 200 something? Clearly I don't still understand that much, but I'm just gonna distinguish between 12 volt and the other kind. I was just gonna get a regular mini fridge, but that was before I realized my fridge was really gonna be my only non 12 volt thing. So besides just having like a couple of outlets, I didn't have plans for anything else that was gonna be not 12 volt. And that would mean that I would have to have my inverter running all the time just to power my fridge. I think, right? <laughs> That's how that works. So I started looking around for 12 volt fridges. They are so, so, so expensive. They're so much more expensive than a regular mini fridge. I had pretty much decided to kind of splurge on one anyway, but then I heard from Set Power and they decided to give me this one. And I originally also very much did not want one of these chest style fridges because it seemed like a pain to have to like be like digging around down into your fridge every time you need to get in there. And also because frankly, I think they're pretty ugly. But in the end, the benefits outweigh the disadvantages, especially because apparently these chest style ones are so much more efficient. So I decided I'm just going to build it into my cabinets and try to hide it. So that's the current plan. So this is the model that I got. This is the biggest one that they offer. I can't remember exactly how much it holds, but I'll put all the details in the description. Plugs into DC power with this little guy, but I believe it also... Yeah, it comes with this adapter here so you can just plug it into a regular house outlet as well. And apparently it's supposed to be really efficient and really great, so I'm excited to see how it works. It also comes with some cute little stickers. It has two different compartments. So there's this bigger compartment and this smaller compartment. I think, yeah, you can also make them just one big compartment if you take the divider out. So I'm planning on using this one as the freezer, this one as the refrigerator. You can set them both to whatever temperature you want over here. I mean, it's small, but everything that you put in a bus is smaller than what you put in a house, so. And I feel like actually the freezer part is plenty spacious. Fridge part, questionable, but I think it also will probably be fine. Let me tell you what I am thinking. This is where, this is like the standard depth of a countertop. So if I put it under the countertop this way, it leaves all this extra space here, which would probably be mostly wasted. And it also takes up like half of my total space this way. I was hoping that I can figure out how to put it actually the other way. Hold that thought. I think before I get into the planning, I'm gonna actually plug this in, put some stuff in here and see if it gets cold by the end of the day to see how it's working. Okay, well my battery is actually pretty much dead. I think it needs to charge more before it will start running this, but once that charges up a little bit, I'll turn it on and get it going. I would like to try to put the fridge in this way, but as you can see, it sticks out just a little bit. Oh, you can't see. It sticks out just barely past this blue line that marks the counter depth. However, I have an idea. I came up with this idea sort of while I was planning the skylight because when we cut the hole for the skylight, just the size of it and the placement made it so that it couldn't be centered over the space that I had mapped out for the kitchen. So 
You can see on this side, the end of the skylight pretty much lines up with the end of the kitchen area. But over here, this is where the skylight ends. This is where the kitchen ends. So it's off centered. So I thought that with this space, this gap in between this end of the skylight and the end of the kitchen, I can make that my pantry space kind of a tall pantry that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And it can also come out further than the countertop since it won't have a countertop right there. I'm thinking maybe I can incorporate my fridge into that space. So I don't know if you can envision what I'm talking about. It's also hard to get a good angle for filming this when that wall is only seven feet away from me. The idea is that the fridge would go here, roll in and out on like a drawer type thing. The cabinets would be maybe like flush with this wall instead of flush with this counter and just straight cabinets all the way up to the ceiling and everything above the fridge would be my pantry space. I think it's a good idea. Hmm. I need to try to like, I feel like this isn't very easy to understand when I'm just talking about it. I need to figure out a way to like visually represent my, the thoughts in my brain. <laughs> I made a little attempt to show the idea that's happening in my head, though I'm about as good of an artist as I am a cabinet builder. I'll have cabinet and counter space in the area right beneath the skylight, and this is where the sink and the range will go. To the right of that would be a tall skinny cabinet, which may or may not stick out a little further than the rest of the cabinets, probably depending on whether or not I figure out how to remove the handles from my refrigerator, but I forgot to draw that part anyway. On the bottom of that skinny cabinet would be a slide out shelf thingy where the fridge would sit with a drawer face to match the cabinets, and then everything above that could be used as pantry space, probably also the slidey outy kind. My other idea that I had, which I'm not totally sold on yet, but I, I think it's something to think about at least, is like I said, the fridge space inside of this might be small. So I'm wondering if I should, I'm thinking that maybe I should prepare for the possible reality that it is in fact too small and build in a space for a separate freezer. What I'm thinking is that if this turns out to be too small, I could take out this divider, use this whole area just as fridge space, and then buy a smaller version of one of these to just use as its own freezer space. And if I did that, I think I would want to put the fridge up in a higher drawer, build a smaller drawer underneath that would fit the freezer, and that until the day if and when I actually do need to get a different freezer could be used for like canned goods and stuff that doesn't need to be super easily accessed so it can be in the bottom drawer. Anyway, this is where the fridge goes. Okay, my battery charged up a little bit, so let's see, see how this works. All right. Oh, I just heard it fire up. Okay, keep the refrigerator at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Freezer temperature, zero degrees. Okay, set this to zero. Gosh, I'm telling you, it's like nearly impossible to get a good angle of this space. The next appliance that I need to work around, I don't actually have yet, but it's the like oven stove combo thing. I think there's a pretty standard dimensions for the one that I want and it's 22 inches this way, 16 inches down. So I think I'll probably put that on the other end over here. 22 inches, right there. Oof, that's bigger than I thought. Yikes. I hope I don't hate it. Okay. Stove top there, sink here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now that layout is decided, the next thing I need to worry about is the cabinets. I've been a little bit concerned about the cabinet situation because just considering how tight of a squeeze everything is and how specific everything has to be to fit in here, I was kind of just assuming that I wasn't going to be able to just buy something off the shelf and have it work. I feel a little bit better about it now after having laid things out because it seems slightly less specific than I thought it needed to be. But a couple days ago I watched, I started watching some videos about how to make your own cabinets and it just seems like something that I'm not going to be able to do. Even my low standards, I don't think I'm going to be able to meet them and make something myself that I'm satisfied with. And if I was able to, it would take so much time. I just don't think I'm willing to dedicate that kind of time. So now what I'm hoping is that I can find some of like the boxes somewhere. And then maybe if I need to sort of customize the specific layout of the cabinets, then I can do that, but that I won't have to build the entire structure from scratch. I don't know, is that a thing that is possible? So I think what I'm gonna do right now is kind of take note of the dimensions that I need to be in a specific way and shop around a little bit and see if I can find something that meets those needs or close to meets those needs and seems like I can modify it. Is it crazy that I think I can do this? <laughs> By the way, while I was talking, this cooled down to where I want it to be. So I got some little drinks. Some little frozen snacks. 
I prefer my candy frozen. I went a little bit overboard. I don't think I need five different kinds of drinks to see if this fridge works, but I'm gonna leave those in there while I go shopping. Come back to a little treat. Okay, I am on my way to the Re store right now, the Habitat for Humanity store, but I didn't realize they closed at 2 p.m. on Saturdays, and it's 1.45, so I jumped in my car to race over there to see what I can find, but stresses me out to go into places right when they're about to close so I don't think I'm gonna actually go I think I'm gonna turn around and maybe like do some Facebook marketplace shopping and come back to the restore on Monday so I was browsing the classifieds looking for some cabinets couldn't find anything browsing websites for new just cabinet boxes wasn't looking promising and I realized I already have a cabinet there's a set of cabinets that was in this bus when I bought it I wasn't planning to use them but I just went out and measured them and I think I can remove part of it which would leave me with like the exact size that i need it's gonna need some modification but i think anything would i'm not getting custom cabinet boxes so i might as well modify what i already have i guess and hope i can make it work now let's see about this fridge what a satisfying conclusion to this day today i'm going to take a closer look at that cabinet that i was talking about in my garage a lot of stuff has accumulated in and on it over these months. So I'm gonna try to get that cleaned out, look at it a little closer, see if I actually can take it apart and if I actually do think I can modify it in the way that I need to. If I can, I'll go from there. So what I'm trying to do here is this part of this thing to right here is the exact measurement that I need. So I'm trying to separate this part from the rest of it. I think it looks like it should be kind of easy. There's just like some screws right here and I think it'll just come apart. So it came apart pretty nicely. The thing I need to address now is that the guy who had the bus before me had this in the front of the bus, so he cut this thing out for the wheel well. I'm not putting this on the wheel well. So this is all cut up and this is like really coming apart. So I think I need to get some new plywood and just replace this whole back sheet. And then I also need to maybe put in a new bottom piece, which I'm less sure how to do than I am the back piece. The back piece seems easy. The bottom piece is all built into this. And if I take that out, I'm just gonna feel like I've taken whole cabinets apart and I might as well have built my own. Maybe I'll just put a new one here. But I think I need to do that before I even attempt to get this onto the bus because it is, it is wiggly right now. Smoky rays make way Double trouble in paradise
Okay, put it all back together, put in new bottoms and backs, put a prettier piece of wood right here. I think it's not great, but it's good enough. And now I think I'm just going to take these doors off and then maybe try to see if I can get into the bus. the whole thing didn't fall apart. It says something about my construction, huh? It did fall apart a little bit though. So there we have it. I'll have to build something else for the fridge over there at some point. I feel like it's not too bad for a day's work. Still got a lot to do to make it how it needs to be, but I honestly didn't think I was going to get this far today. Especially, I didn't realize I was gonna have to replace the backs and the bottoms. So especially with that. Oh, don't look at that, it looks bad. I'll fix it. Happy with my progress, I believe. There's just one more thing I wanna do today before I'm done. Some very important decisions need to be made soon. Went to Home Depot today and got some paint squares. And as you can see, I did not hold back. I got every single one I thought I could even possibly like. So like, since I got the bus like a whole year ago, I've had a very specific color scheme in mind for the kitchen living room area. There was one color that I was gonna do my cabinets and one color that I was gonna do my couch cushions. I couldn't decide which one I was going to do on the cabinets and which one I was going to do on the couch cushions, but I wanted those two colors specifically. The past like two weeks or so, I've suddenly been thinking about a whole bunch of other totally different colors. Some of the colors I feel like are the kind of thing that I would never dare paint my kitchen in real life, but I feel like I can get away with it in a bus. I'm going to let these sit and I think I'm just going to like pluck them off as I decide I don't like them. And oof, I'm really liking this one. This color wasn't even on my radar. I just saw this one at the Home Depot and grabbed it spontaneously, but I really like it now. Anyway, I think I'm gonna be done for now. The next step, I don't know if it'll be the next video, but the next step of the cabinets will be, I guess, redoing this front part, making it fit with my appliances. Maybe I should actually buy my sink and my oven. Yeah.